buffalo. How's everybody doing tonight? It's Friday Eve. <laughs> Thursday. We're ready. We are so ready, right? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> hello, everyone. Hello, hello, hello. How is everyone doing this Thursday evening? I am Cindy from CC Cindy's Creations with Chuck Couture. How is everyone doing on this Thursday evening? Yeah. I'm ready for Friday, ready for the weekend. I don't know why, I really haven't had a bad week. It's just, I'm just ready. I'm just ready for the weekend. So, and welcome to the replay viewers. <laughs> Thank you to those replay viewers that come back in and replay the video. Do hashtag replay just so that I know that you came in to watch the video. And thank you for coming in, everyone, for the live viewers. Do say hello as you come in. Let me know that you're here. And the bottom left-hand corner of your mobile device is a share button. I would appreciate it if you would share. Sharing is caring. So if you care, please share. <laughs> All right. So what I'm going to be doing tonight is I'm going to be using our Play Ball transfer since today is opening day for baseball. I like baseball. <laughs> so I wanted to use this transfer. It's really, really cute. But before I show you that transfer, I want to put a little bit of information up for those of you that maybe are not familiar with Chalk Couture or what it is. So let me give you some information about it. Okay, I think you've had enough time to read that. Um, what Chalk Couture is, we are designers, divas, believers. What we are, we are a high-end DIY company and we are helping to decorate your home and we are using reusable silkscreen transfers. The key word there is reusable. You take care of your transfers wash them up and keep those silk screens clean, you will be able to use them over and over and over again. And basically all we're doing is we are peeling them from the backing, sticking it to our surface and applying paste or ink, but in this case this evening we are going to be applying paste. And you will put this on one of our boards or a surface and you will be amazed with the end result. So let's get you to see what I am wanting to create for you this evening. Okay. Hello, hello, hello. All right, so this is what we are using. The uh, play ball. And let's show you like the little mitt. So I've got the baseball and the bat, our mitt, and then swing for the fences, play ball. I think it's gonna be cute. It's gonna be on the board and base. We're basically putting it all on to, let me get all this off, we're all putting it onto the board and base here, which is reusable, I mean both sides. I have this on the other side, but I am washed off what I had on here so that I can reuse it. Okay, that is what's so great about Chalk Couture is that you can wash off what was there and say, hey, I want to change that up and we're just going to put something else on it, All right? So this is the silk screen transfer. Those of you that are new, this is our silk screen. You'll see here, this is the screen right where my 
finger is, you can see the silk screen there. And that is where we will be applying the paste and it will be distributed evenly on this transfer. So who here likes baseball? <laughs> I do, I do, I do, I do. <laughs> I like going to the games. Um, I don't know. It's it's fun. It's a it's a fun sport. Um, I don't know. Just, I haven't been into it all that long, a few years, but you know, it's a nice pastime, and I just I don't know. I just enjoy it. So. I thought today it would be appropriate to do the play ball since it's opening day or opening season for baseball. So here we go. I am going to be applying with different colors here. We're going to be using Fawn, Candy Apple Red, I've got Bark, and I've got White, and then I've got Guava. So going to start off with the bat. I'm going to put the bat kind of up here at an angle. All right. I will need to have my fuzzing towel. Um, I have not got the towel, fuzzing towel for Chocotour yet. I do plan on getting that. Just haven't got mine in yet. All right. So what I am going to do is just take this off going to fuzz this up. So how's everybody's night going? It's going, it's going, right? It is almost Friday. I am also doing a little open house, so if you're local, you can stop out to Seasons Coffee and Bistro here in Bryan, and um, I will be collaborating with some other ladies, Sunsi and Mary Kay, 31, and myself, I'll be doing demonstrations. So if you're out and about tomorrow from 10 to 1.30, there's lots of things going on here in Bryan. So if you're out and about, stop in to see us. We're gonna be doing demonstrations, probably have um, different other activities for you to get involved in, and I'm sure that we'll be able to find something for yourself or maybe as a gift. Don't forget, you've got Easter coming up, Mother's Day. I'm sure we'd be able to find something for you. So, would love to have you stop out, come out for a drawing maybe, and maybe a create and take. You just never know. So you might wanna stop out and bring a friend. All right, so what we are going to be using is the chalk paste. Hi, Charity. How are you? All right, I am just getting my little stir sticks here. All right, so all we're going to do is when you open your paste, you are going to make sure that you stir it up. You want to have a good yogurt-like consistency. I'm gonna put just a little bit of water in that. Yay, I'm glad you're excited. I'm excited to be here for you to be here with me. All right, here we go. So I am using this fawn for my bat. <laughs> you know, we can make it any color that we want. Hey, I've seen red bats before, so this will be okay, right? All right, so I am just going to use a small squeegee here after we have stirred this up to make sure that we have a yogurt-like consistency. So this looks really good. Yogurt, cake batter, Whatever food you like, I guess. <laughs> so, we're just going to apply that on to our transfer here. Now you've got quite the open screen there, so you're gonna wanna make sure that you do not have any streaks in where the silk screen is because that will show up. Because it's open there. So you're gonna wanna make sure that you get that to a clean, clean look, okay? Scrape off any excess. We'll set that off to the side just in case I need to use that again. You're going to pull straight back and up. There you go. That is my bat. See how easy that was? Really, really easy. All right, 
So all I'm doing is scraping off that edge. You want to try to um, cover up your paste as soon as you can. Um, it does start to dry if you leave it open for too long. So just try to get the lid on as soon as possible. Usually what I like to do too, before I close up my paste, putting just a little squirt of water that keeps the moisture in there. <laughs> Charity, you're so funny. We be learning from you, girl. All right, so now before I mess that up, I'm just going to dry this. Just got my little dryer here. And just dry this a little bit. Just so that I won't mess it up. We do not need that. Okay, it's plenty dry. So the best thing to remember is that you want to make sure that your board comes back to room temperature so that you do not put on another transfer or if you're going to get close to this you're going to end up pulling the paste up if it is still warm so keep that in mind all right so we've got the baseball here so you're going to want to make sure that you put your first layer down and that's going to be the ball and then we're going to put the little threads on that Make sure you don't have anything there. All right, so I'm going to put the ball on here. All right, so I'm going to get the I'm going to get the white out and the red just so that I am ready. All right, so you get your stir stick ready again. We're going to stir up the white. And while I'm at it, I'm going to open up and get the red also ready. I like just to have things ready and ready to go. Of course, we're going to be doing some layering here, so I'm going to want to make sure that I get that baseball all um, dried before I'm going to layer. So here we go. Just going to take very little paste. A little goes a long way. You really don't need to use that much. Okay. That's all we need. And you're going to pull this straight back. There is your baseball part. I'm just putting it over here off to the side and my little pan of water. Okay, before I can even move on there, I need to make sure that I get that dry. So, how are you doing tonight, Charity? Ready for the weekend? I am. I'm ready. Okay. All right, we'll let that dry a little bit. I'm going to see where I'm going to place my mitt over here off to the side. Let's put this lid back up on the red because I'm going to open up the, the bark. I'm just going to let that dry just so that when I decide to put my other color on to layer it, that I don't pull it up. So I'm just giving it just a little more time to really make sure that it dries and I just applied heat to it making sure that it all gets back to room temperature it's not going to hurt me by you know moving on to something else and then coming back to it I just like to make sure that I've let it dry all right so here is the mitt I'm going to put this off to the side just making sure that I'm pressing to have all air bubbles out. So, gonna wanna make sure we do that. Again, when you open up your paste, you're gonna want to make sure you have it a good stir. Remember, we want to have the yogurt-like consistency. So, there we go. All right, so now I'm just going to take my squeegee and then just apply this to my mitt. So you're just going to apply it lightly and then once you stand your um, squeegee straight up, you're going to have it more at a 90 degree angle and that's where you're just smoothing off any excess because you want to put any excess right back into the container so that we can use it again. Alright, so then you're going to pull straight back.
there is my mitt. That looks cool. I like how that came out. Oh, you have your first craft event. Great. I'm sure you will do great at it. The key to that when you're doing your events is demo, demo, demo. Just make sure you do lots of demonstrations, get people to come into your area. This is new. People want to see what it's all about. All right, so let's dry this. All right, and then once I get this dry, then I'm going to go right back up to the uh, baseball. Okay. Now, just make sure that I have this ready. I want to make sure that I have, um, have my little... I can always use my multi-tool too. All right, I'm just gonna to wanna to make sure that I get this lined up correctly. When you're layering, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you fuzz your second layer of your transfer. Make sure that it's fuzzed up really well. Because if not, you will pull up some of the paste that's on the bottom and we don't wanna do that. The key here is to make sure that you don't Press this transfer down really hard onto it, but yet you want it to have so that it sticks to it, obviously, but you're just going to want to be careful that you get it pressed down, but not too hard. All right, so now I'm just trying to make sure that I get this lined up. Basically, I'm seeing to where I have... little opening for the for the ball there okay so that's where the little the little threads are gonna go I'm just gonna take my multi tool this is really excellent for getting into those um, really close little places this little tip it's just an angle and it's perfect to get to do something like this All right so you don't need a whole lot here All right so we're just taking it Smoothing this right onto it. Again, you don't want to put too much in there. And you're going to pull back slowly. And if we mess up, well, you know, we can always just pull it off. So there you go. Can you see that where my red on, in the ball is? It lined up right in there where those little lines are. Can I? Can you see that? I think it came out pretty good. Lined it up good. Yay! All right. No longer using the red. So let's close this up. Remember, you want to try to close up your paste as soon as you can. I'm leaving that white open because I am going to be using it. All right, so let's dry that quick so I don't so I don't mess that up. What do you need to order soon? The multi tool. I like to try to throw one on to every order. That way, that way you always. Um, just always have one there they are really really nice when you need to get into small little places all right so what I'm going to try to remember here is that I have this little area here let's see as you put it in the board and base here you put it in the base it does come up just a little bit so I'm just going to want to make sure that I come up far enough and then I'm gonna to wanna to put play ball. 
Okay, so I just want to make sure that I come up just a little bit. All right, so I'm just going to pull this off. All right, just making sure that I fuzz this up just a couple times. And then, like I said, I'm just making sure that I have this raised up just a little bit. Let's see if it looks like it's straight enough. To me, it looks okay. I have those OCD friends, though, that would really have some issues here. All right, let's kind of take it off and let's push it over just a little bit. I don't know. It looks okay. <laughs> Does that look okay? I think it looks okay. It's gonna be all right. It's just for me to set here. <laughs> looks a little crooked, doesn't it? It'll be all right. I'm not gonna worry about it. This I'm gonna do in white. All right, just going to take my squeegee here. Take a small squeegee and then Remember, a little paste goes a long way. With letters, for some reason, I like to go in up and downward motion at first just to make sure that it goes through all of the silk screen. And then you can try to come back across and get any of the lines out. Okay? All right. Scrape off any excess. And then you're going to want to pull back, pull straight up and back. There we go. It's getting warm in here, you guys. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Renee. All right, so now we'll dry this. How are you guys doing? I'm gonna have to turn a fan on in here. I'm getting warm. Plus, it doesn't help that I'm using this heat gun here. It's making it warm. Let me turn on a fan. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Gotta have a fan on. All right. There we go. Now I feel a breeze. Yay. Maybe you don't see me glistening. All right, like I said, we're gonna make sure that we get the lid on everything. We're almost done. All right. Okay, so now, just gonna make sure that I have that. I'm going to be putting the play ball right up on top there. All right, so we're just going to fuzz this up, have this towel off to the side, all right. go just make sure that everything's back to room temperature and then I'm going to put this play ball right above swing for the fences now I'm just going to open up the guava give me a little stir stick and stir that up to where I have a yogurt like consistency. Here we go. And I will take my squeegee here and again just go in up and downward motion. Remember, we got letters here, so we're going to want to make sure that we get everything covered. Okay, take off any excess. Go straight across, smooth off any excess, put that aside. We're going to pull straight up and back. Here we go. All right, that looks good. I like how that came out. Let's try it. I don't want to mess it up. I've been known to do that. All 
right, how cute is that? I love how that came out. Perfect. Okay, let's close this one up. We are just about done. One time that I tell you that I'm going to try to make this short and I don't say it. And it's actually a nice short little, <laughs> short little creation here for you. All right, let's get these little crusties out of the way. Now we're going to put it in. Perfect. There you go. How cute is that? Very, very cute. I like how that came out. See, you just set that up. Of course, not. let me show you here. All right. Let's get you to come back to me. Hello, 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 hello. Here it is. How cute is that, you guys? that look okay what do you guys think if you like this give me a thumbs up or a heart let me know that you like it I appreciate that let me know what you think I think it's too cute and then you know what you really could do too is if you could even put along the base here you could um, put a little either a bat another bat laying sideways or you could put um, the baseball that would look cute. Or some mitts. You know, I don't know. You could do the mitt and then the ball or something. I don't know. I think that would be very cute. Very happy with how that came out. Perfect. All right. So let me tell you about some information that I have here for you. Let's see. Let's talk about the Club Couture. We have a Club Couture, which is a exclusive B-size transfer. This is like a uh, subscription, and this is a transfer that you would be receiving every month for $19.99. And it will be a, it's a like I said, it's an exclusive B-size transfer. You're going to get three coordinating paste singles, and you will be sent um, how to instructions either by um, a PDF or you're also going to have a link to a video so you would be able to um, learn how to, you'll be able to see how it's done and then print off the instructions so that way you're never going to forget how to do this this is um, exclusive like I said this transfer that you would be receiving monthly it will not be available for other customers to purchase on the website. It is only through this club membership or subscription. So only members will be able to receive it or designers. So that might be something you would be interested. It's only $19.99 and you get the transfer and you're going to be receiving three paste singles. But you will also have the opportunity to pick up this kickstart kit. Now this isn't something that you would have to purchase, but it is just in addition to your membership, you would purchase this just the one time for $69.99. But what you get is everything you see pictured there. You're gonna be getting the nine by 12 Aiden board, the board and base, which is what I use tonight. Um, two board erasers, a full size white paste, a squeegee and the multi-tool. So if you're interested in that, that would be the time to be purchasing that when you sign up for your membership. All right, that isn't anything that you have to, but it's just something that you can, and you can put it on any surface, but we're just offering that to you. Now, we also have chalk box kits. These are also available for you. I have put together just a small video showing you um, these different kits I have the prices at the bottom so if you look at that you'll see them as to what each kit kit will cost here is the video so here is the first one that you saw I think that's really cute. You're gonna get the board base, you'll get that transfer, you'll get paste singles to go along with that. Very, very cute. 
And then here is another kit. Very, very cute. And here is another one. And you're going to get what you see in that um, photo there. You're going to be getting the, the pillow case and you're going to get ink. You'll be receiving all of those. So they are all very, very pretty. So if you have any questions about that, you can put chalk kit in the comments below and I can help you with that. But you can go to my website and you'll be able to, um, once you see them when you go to the shop, you'll be able to see them off to the left. It'll say chalk box kit and you'll be able to pick any one that you are interested in. So we also, always always have information here is our beautiful starter kit if you saw what I did tonight and thought hey I could do that I would love to be able to show my creativity or um, just interested in trying to um, help others decorate or maybe you want to earn a little bit of extra cash this is what you see pictured here is the starter kit and you're going to get all of those items there for $99. You guys, that's over $240 worth of product for $99. That is amazing. You're going to get all of that you see pictured there. You're going to get eight transfers, the Aiden board. The Aiden board. You're going to get the 10 inch round. Uh, you're going to get the apron. You're going to get five paste. You're going to get eight transfers, your catalog. Um, there's just a lot of different things in there that you're going to get and you're going to be receiving a discount on everything so that means there's a sale all the time plus you will be on my team I would love to have you on my team so comment join down below if you would like more information about joining my team or if you just want to maybe uh, have some questions about Chalk Couture, and I will put you into an opportunities group. Okay, so just keep that in mind. By remember just to comment join down below, and I'll get you into an opportunities group. Or if you would like to hear about some specials that I like to offer to my customers, and I can only offer them to you in my VIP group, and this is for customers only, please, no designers, sorry. Um, but I can only offer them to you in this private group. So if you would like to be included in that, comment VIP below and I will get you into that group. Or if you would like to earn some hostess credit and have a few of your friends together, then comment class and I'll get you information on having a class and earning some hostess credit. And we get a, for a few of your friends or family together and we will have a good time, I'm sure. All right, that is all I have for you this evening. I hope you had a good time. I know I did. <laughs> all right, that is all I have. I hope you have a great night. I hope to see you back again tomorrow. See you Friday tomorrow, yay, Friday. All right, so I hope you have a great night. Leave me any questions below or if there's something in particular that you would like for me to demonstrate, comment below and I will make sure that I try to get that. That's all I have for you tonight, you guys. Have a great night. And remember, get creative. <laughs>